I just love bikes, working on bikes and riding bikes and thinking about bikes and going to sleep at night with bikes on my mind is the way I live. My name's Timmy C. I uh, am a bass player and I also ride bikes. And I think I ride bikes maybe more than I play bass. And I sort of thank bikes for enabling me to have a career that's as long as mine has been. My name is Marshall Mullen from Malibu, California, and I ride e-bikes every day. About a year and a half ago, I was riding down the fire road one day, and I get a call from Tim, and he goes, dude, I got it. <laughs> What's going on? And he said, we got to get e-bikes. He came home two weeks later, boom, next week, two e-bikes on our doorstep. So we went for sort of the maiden voyage, you know, we went out on these things. I was kind of like, I, whatever, I don't know what this is. And it was about 15 pedal strokes into the ride that I realized, this is it. This is what we do now. I've known Marshall since he was a little tiny kid, probably about six years old was when I moved to Malibu. He was a little guy. Every day he rode by my house and you know I was out tinkering in the garage and he would just whiz by the driveway. And I was kind of like, who is this guy? I had no idea he was some big wig in a band. And I got to know him and his family and one day his mom said Marshall wants to get a bike and he wanted a dirt jump bike. I didn't really understand that, but he ended up getting one and now I understand that. He got a bike when he was about 12, and by the time he was 15, I think he was doing tail whips and stuff on huge jumps. <laughs> so he, the learning curve was a lot different than for me. It took us a couple rides to realize that we're now going twice as far, twice as fast, and having twice as much fun, and we're still getting a workout. After the first ride we went out, for the first week, really, we were so sore. It was sort of like an eye-opener to us. We were like, wow, these things are no joke. To me, I feel like you're getting a better workout because there's less strain on your joints and you're spinning faster. I never really was that style of rider, and now I am. It's changed the way that I ride a regular bike. When I get on it, I spin more and I shift better because the shifting on e-bikes is a little more precise when you make your shifts, and that carries over to regular bikes. I'm in my top shape right now for riding, and it's all because of the e-bike. I love downhill bikes and long travel technology and bigger brakes and things like that, and all of those things are part of the e-bike world. So I really feel like the future for e-bikes is badass long travel suspension bikes that are downhill bikes, you know, and that's what Marshall's riding. Marshall's got a seven inch travel Kinevo with an eight inch travel fork, so it is a downhill bike and he can climb up a wall on it. So it's the Swiss Army knife of bikes. And so if I was gonna say something to somebody, I would say, don't be turned off, you know, instead embrace it as a whole new sport. Four years old, five foot nine, weigh 128 pounds at 5.6% body fat. I've never been this fit in my life. Now I'm just invigorated by the e bike revolution. You know, it's got me thinking about bikes like the first bike I ever bought. You know, I feel like an e bike is almost like a reinvention of the bicycle, and I'm fired up.